really like a toner. Pores galore doing the most and it's just like a subtle like, mm, I'm here. This feels expensive. My skin feels like baby fat. What's up y'all and welcome back to my channel. Salut à tous et bienvenue sur ma chaîne. So in today's video, I am going to be doing a first impression, a first unboxing, opening all of that for Fenty Skin. I am so excited to try out Fenty Skin because Rihanna just be coming through with the quality, the price points, and all of that. So let's go ahead and just jump right into the video. So first things first, I have makeup on and I need to take this makeup off. So I'm going to put on my little, my little thing, whatever it's called. You know, so good here. Now that I have my hair pulled back, um, I can start cleansing off my face. So this skincare system came with three different products. The first product is a skin cleanser, which is named Total Cleanser. It says it's for hyper clean, soft skin without stripping or drying. It's a daily cleanser and a makeup remover all in one. I have a lot of makeup on, so I kind of just want to like use a makeup remover, like with a cotton pad, like I usually do. But let's just go ahead and give it a review for what it says it's used for. So because it's a makeup remover, I guess I'm gonna just go ahead and put it on to my face directly. I really like this product because it's a twist cap and it opens from the bottom, as you can see here. So let me go ahead and pour out some product so that you guys can see. So a lot doesn't come out and I'm actually putting a lot of pressure in, which I think is good because I am very, 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 very heavy handed. So I'm used to just doing like one, two, three, four pumps. So this is what the product looks like. It has like a pink color and it is very tacky and thick. It's a very, very thick cleanser. So now let's go ahead and see what it looks like or feels like with water. I'm kind of nervous because I always remove my makeup with something else, but we'll see. Ooh, this smells, this smells like luxury. This smells like spa-like treatment. This smells like vacation. It smells really fresh and clean. Um, I have very sensitive skin, so I can't really do fragrance. So we're gonna see about this. I'm probably gonna have to like triple cleanse. Okay. It doesn't feel as thick as it felt when I put it in my hands, if that makes any sense. I felt like it was gonna be more of a thicker lather, but I feel like when you wash, uh, mix it with your, mix it with water, it definitely, so. Mm. Um, it smells, honestly, like I'm really distracted by the smell because it smells so good. But this time around, it definitely feels thicker on the skin. Um, I really do like that it's sudsy. I know it's a mental thing, but I really like that. Mm. And if my face is getting red, it's pretty normal for me because I have very sensitive skin to the touch. One thing I will say is when I use products with fragrance in it, I feel like my skin has like a dry, itchy feel. My skin doesn't feel dry. It feels very clean and plump. Okay, so first impression for the cleanser. My skin feels very, very, very clean um, and almost bare. It doesn't feel dry and it doesn't feel super moisturized. One thing that I hate is I hate like those oil cleansers that make you feel really, really oily, almost like your skin isn't even clean. But this has like a little bit of a plumpness to your skin. I feel like my skin has like a different, a different sound. As far as the fragrance, the fragrance, I personally can't use fragrance, but this smells natural and luxury and fresh and clean. It doesn't have like a grandma overbearingly floral scent. It does not have any fruit notes from what I can smell. It smells more like a fresh, clean, maybe with a hint of floral in it. And my skin isn't red or itchy. So that's a really good sign because usually products that have fragrance or synthetic fragrance, um, 
it does that to my skin. Yep, no synthetic fragrance in here, so it's all natural. It smells like luxury, it smells like vacation, it smells like massage, it smells like a luxury spa. This fragrance is something that I'm comfortable with having on my skin all day or even at night. It's very relaxing, it's not overbearing, but it's definitely there. You know Rihanna is the, the queen of like doing the most, but not really doing the most, and it's just like a subtle like, mm, I'm here, and yeah, I'm, I'm here for this fragrance. I'm here for this fragrance without all the extraness that it usually does to my skin. The next product is the Fat Water Toner Slash Serum. It's used for instantly refines the look of pores, reduces the look of dark spots, it evens the skin tone, and fights shine without stripping skin. Dark spots, check. Pores, galore and stripping the skin. I don't really have a problem with stripping skin because I have oily skin, but we'll go ahead and try it out. I will say that I'm not a toner girl, so let's go ahead and see. Um, that was like two squeezes. I have it on my hand here. Ooh, one thing I will say is I hate toner, and this feels, can you hear that? This doesn't feel like a toner. Ooh. I guess it's a serum too. This feels mm. like it has some type of texture and some type of tackiness to it. This feels nice. Is this really like a toner? Fat water pore refining toner serum. Like I'm getting more of a serum vibe rather than a toner. One thing that I hate about toner is it just feels like water on your skin. It's like, what's the point of that? But this feels like it's actually doing something. So I like it. It also kind of gives my skin, once again, that like really plump, tacky feel. Almost like it's prepping my skin for makeup. It says that it reduces the size of pores, so I'm definitely gonna have to check that out. I feel like with this product, I'm definitely more impressed than I thought because I don't like to toners. I am a serum girl. Um, I even feel like two pumps was a little bit too much. A little goes a long way with these products from what I've seen with the cleanser as well as the toner. One pump would have been enough because I have a lot of extra on my hand. As far as the first impression, how I feel about it, um, it makes my skin feel good. Is it something that I would recommend you guys using after my first use? I don't know. Um, obviously, I can't really tell you guys about the results because it's my first day trying it, but if it does reduce the look of pores as well as lighten up dark spots, I'm here for it. But as far as a first impression on how it feels for my skin, definitely feels better than a toner, but it doesn't feel like I'm gonna have to check in. I'm gonna have to check in to see how it does for my skin, but it's a, it's a good product. I like it. Now, product number three. Oh, let's see how this opens. Okay. So it comes in two pieces and, oh, it kind of just slides in this pocket right here and then you turn it. So let's see how this goes. That's one pump and two. Why did I do two pumps? This whole time I've been saying that a little goes a long way. So let's go ahead and see this. So I'm gonna go ahead and just dab it because I don't wanna OD. Ooh, this feels good. Oh my. The smell, honestly, Fenty Skin is getting me with smell. I know fragrance isn't something that's typically good for skincare, but this smells, this smells like relaxation and luxury. This feels, this feels like velvet silk. This feels expensive. This feels like, honestly, it feels very spa-like. It feels, I feel like when you go to a spa or when you're on vacation, oh my God. I can't talk while I'm doing this because See, and look how much, look at how much I just, look at how much I just wasted. And ooh, see, even that was too much. As you can see, it didn't leave that look on my face, but because I used way too much product and there's even still more here. So if you guys have not learned anything, take it from me. You do not need two pumps of these products um, because as you, I actually kind of evened out, but it's on this hand now. I feel like, Don't use two pumps of this product. A little goes a long way. And when I'm telling you, my skin, my skin feels like baby fat. It feels like baby fat. 
I feel so plump and it smells good. I like that the fragrance isn't overbearing, so it would be something that I'd be comfortable with putting on my face at night time, but of course it's also good for daytime. This, this, this honestly, I mean, this Hydrovisor um, moisturizer has to be my favorite. Sorry to cut it off, but this feels so good. You feel so hydrated. Um, what else were we gonna expect from her skincare line? This feels You just have to try it. This hands down is my favorite product and I'm gonna say that now just cause the results of the way this makes my skin was instant. I really like that it's hydrating, but it doesn't make my, fit, my skin feel oily, especially for somebody who has oily skin or combination skin rather. This is it y'all. This is it. And I really like the fact that it is reusable because we love a good old environmentally friendly queen, okay? Save the environment, save Mother Earth. So I'm here for that. And it's super easy to just use and pop in, slide it, twist up. You literally can just buy refills and fill it up and then pop it in and you're good. And the price point for refills is even more affordable. Once again, I really love the attention to detail in the packaging as far as the traveling goes because it's it's something that isn't going to spill in your travel case like you can't pump anything um it doesn't come out she really thought of different walks of life when she made this packaging because you know when you travel and things spill like it's nearly impossible for this stuff to spill out because it's a twist cap. These are just three products to start out and I know she's gonna come with more because it's Rihanna. So I think it's pretty evident that my favorite skincare product out of everything is this Hydrovisor Moisturizer. This right here feels like silk, feels like velvet, feels like baby skin. It's moisturizing, it's not OD. Um, this one for sure is a must buy. Second would definitely be my cleanser. I have a cleanser that I currently use right now and I love it. Is it something that I would replace with my skin cleanser? I feel like I gotta use it a little bit more, but it definitely would be in my top two, top three rotation. I will say the fragrance gets me, the suds, the thickness, the creaminess, and the way that it spreads. And I really, 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 once again, I love that this packaging gives you product control because people who are heavy handed like me would go through this bottle super quick but because it is harder to squeeze out i really like that feature i'd be squeezing out so much product don't even be using it and this is good for that i also like the twist cap the twist cap comes in um, handy and it's convenient because i feel like with the pump bottles it's really hard to travel with i will say that with problem skin i kind of like the feeling of the like not strip skin, but like the clean slate. I feel like with this, this is a moisturizing cleanser. It does not strip your skin. It definitely leaves it feeling clean and bare, but it's not like the completely bare feeling because it does moisturize the skin. The fragrance smells like luxury, like royalty, like fresh, clean, spa-like treatment. I'm really, like this cleanser, it, it, it really does some. As far as the toner, I am not a toner girl. I'm definitely a serum girl. And I will say that the serum toner combination really came through because it's much thicker than a toner. And I also feel like it actually does something to the skin. Other toners do have your skin feeling really dry and really bare. This is a very moisturizing collection. So I feel like I'm gonna have to check in with y'all to let you guys know exactly what I think about this. As far as the results that I got ASAP, these two, get these right away, sis. Like these two, instant results, instant different type of feeling. This one, this is not your average toner. It's much thicker. It gives like a tacky, um, makeup ready type of skin surface. Um, but I'm definitely gonna have to see the results of this to let you guys know if I love it. I like it, I don't love it. These two, I love. Definitely getting these, like these are musts. Yeah, so that concludes today's video and my first impression on Fenty Skin. Rihanna came through once again and came out with not only great products at a great price point, but quality products, making you feel the luxury, making you feel the time and effort that was put into these products. So as far as my opinion, I would say Fenty Skin is a go. It is something that I would spend my coin on and this 
moisturizer is something that I'm definitely spending my coin on when it comes when it runs out but I will definitely keep you guys updated on Instagram on how my um, skincare routine is with incorporating these with my other products and seeing the results of my skin using the toner that is it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching please don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you guys are interested in any of my ear pieces, my neck pieces, or my ring, you guys can site at www.praise-her.com. Thank you guys so much for watching and, and I will see you in the next upload. Peace I honestly need her to come out with a actual fragrance. You know she be doing that. She be like putting stuff in front of you, but not putting stuff in front of you and then be coming out with exactly what you wanted, but she already knew that, so she already started the product production anyways. I'm gonna need this in a fragrance, sis. Please, thank you.